Peace, 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 peace. I'm Rami Salam El. I thank you for joining us. Um, before we get started, you don't have to watch this if you are not about, uh, you know, uplifting yourself on a spiritual level. This is not for you. It's all good. You know what I mean? Just hit the X, click another video, turn on some music. It's all love. I'm not mad at you. We ain't mad at you. Peace. Cool. All right. Now we got the vibes right. Um, I'm going to get into this Circle 7, the Holy Quran. But before I do, I'm going to just read uh, line 1 on page 44. But before I do, I just wanted to show you um, the inside real quick. Let's see if you can see some of this here. Yeah, so just flipping through. As you can see, this is random pages. I don't have this. is uh, not predetermined anything. I don't know if you can see the notes too well, but I know you can see like some of the highlights. And I'm showing that to you because oftentimes you may hear you may hear um yeah. You may hear Moors, you may hear people talk about study, study, study. You know what I mean? You got to study, study, study. And it sounds cute, but if, you really, if you're really about studying, I mean, take it as serious as you would, you know, your, your master's course at some Ivy League college or your undergraduate study that you got to pass to keep your scholarship or whatever you find important that you dedicate all your time and focus to. You know what I mean? Take studying this information in just the same way. That's at least that's how I took it. And that helped me and it's helping me to understand what this information is all about. And even then, I still don't, I'm not claiming that I'm some expert or that I know everything because I don't. And I think it's going to take, you know, reading this book a thousand times before I have just a, a, a good grasp of what this information is saying. And even then, I wouldn't even say I mastered it. And that's a thousand. That's a lot of times reading the book. You feel me? Um, page 44. So I just wanted to get to this real quick because I, I thought this was important. And I just wanted to read it. Um <clears throat> It says, Vaunt not the body because it was first formed, nor of thy brain because therein the soul resideth. Is not the master of the house more honorable than its walls? So here's the thing also before I even get into this. When I started studying and reading this, I started to understand that even just two or three lines of this book is really profound. And sometimes we read through a whole section or a whole, you know, statement from Noble Drali and don't even take a moment or, you know, or from this Quran or from any holy book and don't take a moment to really break down, you know, line for line what's being said and understand everything that's going on. Like this, this line right here. When I, uh, when I read it back, I really started to get deep into it. Vaunt, not the vaunt. Um, man, I don't have a dictionary near me right now. So just look up V-A-U-N-T, vaunt. Um, vaunt, not the body because it was first formed, nor of thy brain because therein the soul resided. So, you know, what this really had me thinking about is what's the difference between your soul and the brain and then it started me thinking oh that's maybe your soul is your mind because your mind is in your brain but your mind isn't your brain you get what i'm saying let me say that again your soul is your mind or your mind is your soul because your soul or your mind is in your brain but your soul or your mind is not your brain Think about that. It says your soul resideth in your brain. That's where your soul is. That's deep. Because you do have a soul, but where is it? You ever thought about that? That's just what made me start thinking. Well, where is your soul? Google. Google. Where is your soul located? 
Alexa or you know what I mean? Siri, whatever we're using. I robot, but that's another subject. Anyways, um, the second line is not the master of the house more honorable than its walls. And that's what it, that 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 got me thinking on a couple levels. One, the master of the house more honorable than its walls, meaning like, you know, that beautiful woman. Yes, the outside, the walls, you know, maybe woman's not a bit. You understand what I'm saying? The the outer physique of the woman could be amazing, but is that more honorable than the actual person within the the wall within the house? No, you know what I mean. So we should focus and give more attention to the person within the house or within the body, as opposed to the body itself. That's one. But then the deeper thought was. Um, not the master of the house more honorable than his walls. You know, well, who is the master, really? You know what I mean? Is it us? Did we even, did we create the body? No, not really. So who is the, oh, the creator. So is the master of the house more honorable than his walls? Yes, the creator is more honorable than the body and the person residing in the creation that the creator made. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't make the creation. We didn't make the body of the house that we're in. We didn't build the house and then step inside the thing. No, the house was built for us and we got put inside the house. Uh, I'm getting a little too deep. <laughs> but you feel what I'm saying? Think about it. Think about it. Let me know your thoughts. Because to me, this this kind of gets this kind of gets some real deep. I ask people this question. This uh, I'll put it to you this way. You know, when it comes about like uh, God, especially for people that don't believe um, or atheists, you know, don't believe in God or don't believe in the creator. I won't use the word God. As atheists or people that they themselves call themselves to be God, you know, what I mean, how many hairs are on their body right at that moment? Do they know? Do you know? I doubt it. But whoever created this body does know. And whoever is the creator who knows the exact amount of hairs on our body at this moment right here, that person, being, he, she, whatever, deserves our honor, our praise, our adoration, our worship. Not the person inside any particular body, no matter how amazing that person may be. You dig what I'm saying? I hope so. I'm about to go to sleep. Something to think about. Um, yeah, and this is coming from the Holy Quran, brought to us by Noble Jali. I'm going to do more of these, you know what I mean? This was a uh, chapter, chapter 37, XXX52, yeah, five on the left, two on the right. Hey, um, the, stra the, the chapter was called Holy Instructions from the Prophet, the Breath of Heaven. Um, and, uh, it still has another, was it not 15, 14 other lines in that chapter? I just touched on one line. Um, and I hope you find something important or, you know, uh, uplifting, um, something positive about this video. If not, I'm going to try in the next one. Uh, much love. Not try. I'm going to do my best in the next one. Much love to you. Keep shining. Peace.